Hello everyone, it is Yozu again and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. In this one I will be talking about these stages that I usually farm on the uh, Faction War Crypts. So there are uh, actually three stages that I usually farm the most on these Crypts. And those are stage 15, uh, stage 20 and stage 25. Uh, stage 15 is the place that I farm when I don't have much time during the day so I just uh, pump, uh, pump this stage and as you can see best time 28 seconds so it goes pretty fast uh, stage 20 best time is 55 seconds and stage 21 2 minutes and 49 seconds so uh, why do I farm stages 20 and 21 the most actually uh, is because on both stages you can actually get uh, decent glyphs probably some better chance uh, more a better chances in here to get a bit higher cliffs but uh those are like measly measly increased chances and yeah i mean drop legendary items epping legendary items in the same ones as well and here you can get from three to six stars and here you get four to six stars uh so uh the reason why uh you're gonna you actually can pick one of these stages uh depending on the champions that you have so if you have some champions that can easily take down the boss then go ahead and farm this stage uh, but if you have some stage, uh, some champions that can easily take down the waves just like i do uh, since i don't have champions that are like max uh, max hp attackers for this stage at least for the sake of order i go ahead and farm stage 20 so let's go ahead uh, this is like Team brand and team that I have for this stage. So let's go ahead. Let's let's just see how this run goes. I mean, what you have seen is the best time, but I might have uh, switched some of the equips on some of my champions, so might not be the fastest one. <clears throat> and as you can see, if I do uh, create a team like premates, uh, premates, turn, uh, preset turns, not premade preset turns this would actually go much faster because some of these champions are using some uh, funny abilities I mean I would go ahead and let him use only A2 and A3 and uh, A1 and A2 actually and for uh, the Saint Sir Nick I wouldn't use uh, his unkillable at all so yeah no need to use unkillable here because opponents are pretty kind of weak Ahead. okay so this one went for one minute and two seconds pretty decent run and as you can see one four star haste glyph and six star re resistant glyph with a lot of uh a lot of uh artifacts or uh, crafts at least for the artifacts so uh let's go ahead uh if i had some uh, different champions for especially this one um i don't know for example if i didn't have some of these champions that are great against waves so Bear that in mind. Uh, Martyr is amazing against waves. Cupid is amazing against waves. Errol as well because he can nuke waves pretty easily. Cernig as well. Uh, then, uh, I mean, if I didn't have them, I'll probably go ahead and try to farm boss. If I had maybe some someone like Ulstring who has HP burn can uh, kill boss easily. If I had like not uh, Corvus the Corruptor with poisons because poisons are dealing uh, like five percent of the uh, HP on the bosses so i would go ahead and use those champions but in my case uh pretty decent champions that that can take down uh, waves easily so that's the reason that's the main reason i'm actually going for that for that one i mean you can go ahead and just check out your, your champions the the ones that you have on your account for example if i had septimus i would for the banner wards i would 100 try to farm a boss level uh, stage 21 and it, since I don't I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to farm stage uh, 20 because as you can see Stoltus pretty good against waves, Ronda pretty good against waves, uh, Sigmund as well pretty good against waves because he has a AoE uh, provoke, uh, that AoE provoke does not for example these provokes don't work on the bosses so yeah uh, that's just my two cents uh, on how, how you should go ahead and farm and I mean as I've shown you uh, you get almost the same rewards, not almost, but com like completely same rewards on the stages 20 uh, as you get on the stage 21. 
so that would be like just the quickest video ever i just wanted to showcase that if you are for example a um, on lower stages and you're struggling with uh, trying to beat some of these stages i mean try at least to get um, if you don't have champions totally fine uh go ahead and uh, farm some of the earlier stages uh but uh like from my experience i actually wasn't able to farm uh boss stages pretty pretty hard time uh farming boss stages but i always try to farm like one stage below the boss stage so for example this one or yeah like 13 but yeah these are the stages that i usually farm these two thank you guys for watching hope hopefully this is going to be a little bit helpful and hope to see you in the next one yeah